Hello dear chess lovers, Jem Gabuzian is here with you and welcome to our video. In this one we are going to discuss how to get out of a skewer. Why are we having this video? Many players while facing some tactics can imagine they are losing a material and can resign. But it's not so easy and in different situations you might have some saving resources. Today it's gonna be about the skewer. In the position you can see, White just plays bishop to c3, black queen, more valuable pieces under attack and if it's going any square the rook on a8 will be hanging. So should we lose our rook on a8 or we can save it? Pause the video and think about it. At the moment, black has a saving move, this is queen to c5. While we are leaving our h8 rook under attack, we are at the same time pinning opponent's bishop and the queen on c2 will be lost if white is capturing the queen. Another situation. At the moment, black rook on e5 and knight on c7 are under attack and whenever we are moving the rook, our knight might be lost. So we have few options of saving the piece and that's what I want you to find. Pause the video and think about it again. The idea is that now white king is in a comfortable spot for black pieces. We can deliver a check. Black can play knight to b5 check and retreat with the rook to many squares. As well, instead of knight b5, black can start with rook e3 check. Another time taking a piece out of the attack with a tempo. This can be another useful idea. Other option of getting out of the skewer will be the following one. At this position, white plays bishop to e3, rook on d4 is hanging, and the bishop on b6 now is unprotected. How do we save the bishop? Excellent, we are just going back and defending. Sounds very simple, but sometimes these kind of ideas can be missed. Now bishop is protected, so black isn't losing any material. Next example, we are seeing the following one, where white plays bishop to f3 attacks our rook and knight on c6. So if this piece is going anywhere, we will lose the knight. If we are leaving the rook under attack, we might lose the exchange. How would you save your rook in this moment? Pause the video and think about it. This is already a little complex example. The idea is that we are going to pin opponent's bishop with bishop g4 move. Now they cannot take because queen on d1 is under attack. In other words, we aren't getting out of the square with these pieces, but we are pinning opponent's attacking piece. Another example can be the following one. At the moment white plays bishop to g5 check, and in that game it happens quite often, this kind of blunders, many players can resign here, but are you going to resign or find something better? Think about it. At the position, rook on d8 is gonna be lost anyways, but the good news is, what rook on f4 is also not the safest piece, it's protected by the bishop, and if black here goes king to e5, we are attacking on the opponent's rook. After bishop d8, black captures on f4, so this position will be drawish. After king e5, white has intermediate move, rook f5, king takes and bishop d8, but changes nothing. Again, bishop and game opposite color bishops, so this position will be drawish as well. Another example can be the following one where white plays bishop to b3 and seems pretty hard to get out of this cure. Now the queen is hanging, we don't have any good squares to go with our queen and knight on f7 will be lost. This is also little harder examples and would be so good if you can find the right solution. Pause the video and think about it. At this position we cannot escape with the queen, but we are seeing a fantastic resource. Opponent queen is unprotected and king on g1 is standing under the fork option of knight on f3. So if here you thought about going knight to e5, that's a great solution. After bishop takes e4, black continues. Knight f3 check, king g2, knight takes e2, saving the piece. And at the beginning after bishop b3, if you suddenly thought about knight g5 going to f3, this doesn't work. What is the reason this idea isn't working? The reason is white gets intermediate move, queen takes g5 prior to capturing the queen. Now if pawn takes, bishop takes c4 and white staying with an extra piece, and after queen g5, if black's capturing the bishop on b3, white gets an intermediate queen f6 check. 
after king g8, capturing the queen and winning the game. So be careful. Next example is also similar to this one. And in this position, white plays bishop to f3. Now there is no way to save the knight and find a good square with the queen, trying a good square to escape. But there is one idea which I will offer you to find. Pause the video and think about it. At the moment, white queen is unprotected. And instead of saving this piece, we're attacking a more valuable piece of opponent. Queen goes to d4 square. Now, knight cannot be captured, queen is hanging. And if white takes with the queen, knight takes to d4, saving the piece. Another example we're going to see is the following one. And this is a very unusual example. Here, white goes bishop e3 over rook hanging and bishop in behind of this. So we cannot move a rook because the piece will be lost. Are we going to give up in this game or we'll find something better? Pause the video and try to find it. In this position, we're not only going to save the piece, we're going to win the game. Black has a fantastic move. Rook to c1 check. Wow. Two pieces attacking the rook. But the thing is, bishop cannot take back because there is a pin on this diagonal. So white's only move is to take rook c1. But now our bishop takes with a check on e3. And king goes anywhere while capturing the rook on c1. So instead of just getting out of skewer, black is just crushing in this position. I hope you liked this example. And it was complex. Very good if you found it. And let's go to the next one. Here we go. In this position, white continues bishop to f3. The queen is under attack and the rook behind it. So are we losing the rook or you can save it? Again, example isn't the most obvious one, but try to use the ideas we have learned previously. Pause the video and go for it. At this moment, black gets another resource. First of all, we're going to pin this bishop with our bishop to g4 and queen cannot be captured but the thing is our bishop now is not protected by the pawn it's hanging for free so white takes it at the moment we're using opponent king's position and finding a saving queen a4 check pawn b3 queen takes g4 on top of saving the situation black now has a decent advantage because opponent king is in the middle so, dear friends, those were our ideas how to get out of the skewer. As you have seen, from a little simple situations, there were visually very hopeless ones. And my point is, just don't resign immediately, check out your resources. You might be finding something unexpected. Thank you for watching, Jem Gabuzian was here with you. And I am going to meet you in our next videos.